especially with the new scripted patterns. In particular, I'm going to show you with the brick fill tool. Now, just going to quickly create a, a shape. And this is just applied. And I'm just going to select that. And shapes are absolutely great sources for define pattern, edit menu, define pattern. Just save that. Now, in many of these things, I would actually have created this on a layer, removed the background layer to create some transparency. But in this case, I'm using the brick fill option. I'm not particularly worried about transparency at that point. So, so obviously, I with the shapes. All these sort of shapes, you could create very easy brick designs, pattern designs. Right. Now go and get rid of that. So I just want to remove that now. And now go to Edit, Fill, select the pattern option. There's custom pattern there. And the one I've just created is that one. So you've just got that. And scripted patterns and brick fill. Click OK. Now, if you actually want to go and edit that file, it's a JSX file. You can find them in Deco scripts, but they're all fairly complicated now with the latest releases. So now, brick fill gives you a great sort of way to create basically bricks. You can see the design here. You can modify the spacing between it, so you can actually increase the spacing. So you can actually see spacing. Of course, you can reduce it spacing so they all overlap. Not so effective. Most cases, it results in a, especially if you're using black, results in black. So there you've got the spacing again. Pattern scale, you can modify the pattern scale, reduce it down a bit, also creates more. Also, the offset, you can move shift the offset, so you can just sort of move that. Now, I've gone for a small, fairly small pattern because they, they seem to really work best with the small patterns, certainly the preview anyway. Just reduce that and so on and so on. Obviously, now there's not much offset at all there, so I'm just going to make that go back to about 50%. So you actually get the actual brick pattern, standard brick pattern, one there, one there. Okay, also, you can apply color randomness as well as brightness randomness, which is actually a bit of a mouthful. Brightness randomness, anyway. So you can obviously modify that in this case, not much effect. There. Oh, there's a little bit. You can just see all the various changes there. You can see grey in that design. And also you can rotate the design, which creates a quite Art Deco-like effect. OK, just going to put that back to zero again. Right, that's the settings for the brick fill. With all the various patterns now, you can actually add, load a preset, and save a preset. So if you find a nice design that you like, you can just quickly save that as a preset. Now, just going to click that as OK. And there you have a quick and easy brick fill design using the Chevron shapes. But it could be using any custom shape design. I hope you found this tutorial.